Um, next question is also good. We were really happy with all these smart people asking great questions today. Greg from Dallas, Texas wants to know, is there a difference between males and females' brains as it relates to, and he puts in quote, keeping relationships, end quote. Dr. Eva, you want to take that one? Sure. I think, you know, I, we, we talked about this a little bit. We touched base on sort of the ten and befriend and the fight or flight. And, so, you know, some of the studies say show that, you know, if we were a different type of species, men would spread their sperm far and wide. And we know some men do that, but, for, you know, a lot of men don't. And so they do look at relationships very differently. You know, men men's brains, again, general. I'm making a, a sweeping generalization, not true for everybody. In general, men are very result-oriented, and anything that helps them, you know, make that result work um, is what they consider good. So, you know, they will think that having good sex is what's needed for a good relationship, whereas for a woman, she will only have sex if the relationship is good. So they definitely view sort of the outcome very differently. You know, we look at sort of the keeping our hearts open and talking and discussing things as a good relationship, and then we have sex, whereas opposed to men, again, tendency, this isn't for everybody, will say, okay, we had sex, isn't everything okay now? So, you know, there a lot of sort of the validation for them comes from the end result, whereas the validation from for women in general is coming to that end result together. Um, when you talk about differences in male brains and female brains, one of the huge differences is in the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is a super highway that connects the right hemisphere with the left hemisphere. And it's been clearly documented that men's corpus callosums are smaller, less dense than women's. So what that means is that men tend to process information in one hemisphere without feeding it backwards and forwards to the other hemispheres. And this is not a value judgment or a criticism. This is a, a, a biologic fact. And of course, as Dr. Eva said already earlier in the show, you know, these are tendencies that men tend to have less developed corpus callosums than women. What that means, though, is that they process information very, very differently. And in terms of keeping a relationship alive, a woman is going to be using both sides of her brain simultaneously and processing a lot of information. And truth is women spend a lot of time thinking about relationships where men tend to spend less time thinking about the quality of their relationships and tend to think with one side of their brain. So as Dr. Eva told you a few minutes ago, they're kind of keeping score. So if they had good sex this morning, they're having a great relationship. And so people do process information very very differently, particularly in light of relationships, and men do tend to think of it um, differently than women, and women tend to think more about relationships. So it's very important in a relationship to keep it healthy, to make sure you know what your partner is thinking. Don't assume. Men and women do see the world differently. Ask your partner, how do you think things are going? What do you think the strengths are? What do you think we can improve? And that's a nice way to get feedback and not to assume that everything's fine all the time. Because